Turn that up and then reset capture because picture's not coming up. Hello, everybody. Hey, Tomcat, Sean, uh, Rye. Hey, guys. I heavily got a freaking hurricane heading this way. Keep me in your prayers. Hurricane Michael was supposed to, supposed to hit tomorrow and Thursday, but it looks fine over here. No evacuation as far as I know. Yeah, I, I heard some bad things about that one, so be safe over there. Uh, hey, Spectre Shadow, what's going on? And Dragoon Knight, I saw you there. Uh, let's turn capture back on. Because for some reason, every single time, I have to turn capture on, turn it off, and then turn it back on. It's the only way it works. There you go. So now it's working. Uh, Siberian Ninja, what's happening? A, P uh, a Perez? Uh, I'm going to call you Perez because I don't want to call you Ape. All right. Nice reward to watch this after spending 10, 15, 20 minutes making an N64 cartridge insert. How did Johnny get a Christmas gram on? Uh, uh, Godlike luck. <laughs> Shadow, God would say God like luck. Have you tried turning it off and on again? Sean, that's exactly what I have to do. Turn it up ever so slightly. Rip with the 15 bits. Thank you so much, Sean. I have to change my alerts. I have to let me let me rechange that. I I had changed my alerts. Um to to you it has to be like 20 over 25 bits but i think i'm gonna change that back uh i'll make it like five bits or something because i do like having some sort of cap on it uh hang on a second he on all right we back All right, I had I, I had to stop the stream and, and put it back on. It wasn't even trying to reconnect again. But uh, hang on a second here. This 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 isn't gonna make any sense. The stream doesn't want to live. Uh, this isn't gonna make any sense. But uh, uh, Tomcat, I saw that you donated bits and you your alert went off, but it went off when we were down. So you deserve an alert. So you're gonna get one. There we go. I don't know what the hell it says. There you go. That's 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 all for you. <laughs> you you donated bits. You you get an alert. Wait, somebody else? There we go. And you know what, uh, uh, Sean, you did it er earlier, but I hadn't changed it yet. There you go. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Your generous donation card. Remember, that was happening. <laughs> if you, in case you forget, that was happening until I changed the alert box uh, stats. There was a point where whenever I got an alert, it messed everything up, which I, I think I have turned off now. I hope so. I hope that's not what's going on. Oh, and who was it that said, um, oh, wait, now everything is, now everything is blurry. Uh, maybe that's what was going on. Maybe the settings had changed. Um, uh, whoever was said that it was very, um, uh, you have trouble taking the game seriously with this music. That's the point. <laughs> You're not, this game doesn't take itself seriously. You know what I mean? Like it's it's a very silly game, and it's fantastic for that. It's just 
quality of life stuff, things like the controls, they haven't aged very well. Oh, right, it was you. Okay. The campsite has been turned into a morbid oh. Oh. morgue, covered in blood and the remains of numerous unidentified bodies. It's hard to believe that such a brutal massacre could have happened in this day and age, especially at such a secure location. It only took the rescue crew 20 minutes to respond to the emergency call. But by the time they arrived, it was too late. There were no survivors, and consequently no witnesses. So the mystery remains. Who or what could have done this? It seems too massive and malicious for a single human to have done it. Or several, for that matter. There were dark forces at work here, and no one's at Camp David. <laughs> it happened four days ago, and the place has been dead quiet ever since. Thank you, P Perez, for the bits. And the stream seems fine. That was my first bit donation. Happy was on. Oh, thank you very much then, Tomcat. I'm I'm glad to be your first. To the challenges. It is too dangerous to enter alone. The camping site is closed now, but you cannot go back. We hope for a miracle for you to handle the incident and return safe and sound. It lives. The high school girl is gonna solve this. Right. What you got? What do you got against high school girls? They can do things. Now the clear time for this is 20 minutes. That seems outrageous. Or 30 minutes. See, now we can switch to Kevin Kurtzman there, but we're sticking with Erico. Uh huh. Uh huh. I like the 80s narrator so far. Yeah, uh, well, that's the uh, that's the thing, the uh, uh, Dr. Gibbs. The whole thing, like, when I go into the stage, it looks like a movie. Like, it's presented like a campy uh, horror movie. See, campy because it's Camp David. All right, so the first thing you need to do, uh, for anybody who wasn't here yesterday, the first thing you need to do is find what's called the horror scope, which is the item that will let you detect the traps. The way this works is that you're trying to uh, uncover you. There are things that we, we, your senses will tell you is going to happen. So then you're trying not to get scared, basically. So you can't move too fast because you're you need your senses to go off. So the, Jesus. Sage, you're scaring the hell out of me, buddy. All right. So that's the horror monitor. I always call it the... Yeah, it's... Oh, but then something steals my horror monitor. No, my horror monitor. No. Give it back. Monk killer stole your horror monitor. So now we have to progress without it. Yeah, so now the gag is that you have to progress without it. I think if you want the bad ending for this stage, you have to finish the stage without the horror monitor. All right. Sixth sense. I hate that word. Sixth sense tells you that there is an item nearby. An either an item or something that's gonna spook you. So I at least get an item detector so that I can find stuff. But then you just have to avoid the traps. Like if you send something, you just have to avoid it completely. <laughs> HD remake. Now look at this perv. Help! Somebody help me! 
That's her friend. Um, yes, there are good and bad endings to the stages. The way to get the true ending, we found out yesterday that you have to have a completed save file before you are allowed to access the true ending. Every stage has a bad way to end the stage. You have to end every stage the bad way, and then that will allow you to unlock the true ending of the game. <laughs> Lude, whatever that thing was. 8K, 144 FPS. Why is it? Oh, I'm just. I'm, okay. Yeah, the the first stage, you're the first couple of stages you're supposed to be rescuing your friends. The first stage you have to get there after an hour passes, and then your friend will die. In this one, I think you have to not get the horoscope back. Or I keep calling it the horoscope. That was also an Eve album. Um, an Eve 6 album, I think. Or uh, the horror monitors. I think you have to not get it back or just not rescue the friend. Because everyone has to die in order for you to get the, the good ending. Zeta? What's going on, Zeta? All right. Let's go this way. But yeah, you, you, we tried to figure it out yesterday. You you can't get the good and the the true ending. I, sh I, sh I keep saying the good ending. Uh, that's phallic. I've seen enough hentai to know where this is going. Uh, you can't get the true ending until you've beaten the game once and you get what is essentially the bad ending. Yeah, well, I can tell you right now what happens is when you when you beat it without the good ending, you don't find out who's behind everything. Uh, I, I think you just win money and that's it. With the true ending, you find out who is at the center of like what's really going on in this place. Hundred plus hours to make models for an island. Now this go ooh, that sounds. That kind of sounds fun, Zeta. It's probably super duper boring, but it kind of sounds fun. Oh, so the item monitor shows shows me stuff on the map. Sweet. All right, so if I go straight ahead and turn, but I got to avoid these these hentai, these hen hentacles. We're calling call them hentacles. Any tentacle that has a hentai theme to it, we're calling a hentacle. Yeah, 80,000 this time. You know, classic video game stuff. It goes up. You know, you get more depending on what you do. That vibration is not the screen. That's actually happening. That's happening in game. Oh, no. Go, move. Look at all the blood. Go, oh, swing. Oh, my God. She's like... Yay, we escaped. Would you look at that rooster's back? <laughs> oh my god, that was a lot of blood. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't think they pay by the bucket here. Tentacles. <laughs> uh, I keep putting the wrong button. Played a saga game like Saga Frontier Unlimited Saga. I tried Saga Frontier, but very briefly. I've never played any of the other ones. I think I have one. Don't I have one? No, I actually don't have any Saga Frontier games. Uh, doing all right, Rooster. How you doing? Get flex tape to patch that up. Yeah, I know. That's a lot of blood. Okay, here we go. I think if you stay off the center of the road, you avoid the, the worms. Is it here? No. Oh, I just heard it. I just heard the game load something. <clears throat> 
Oh, sweet speed ladder. You know what this channel needs for Spoopy Month Power City? Sean, multiple times I have gone to buy that game. And I still don't own it. <laughs> I have to check every once in a while because I'm not sure if I got it or not. Multiple times I've gone to buy that game and I, and I just don't. I either don't find it or I find somebody trying to sell it for way too much. I keep hearing the Dreamcast load something. See, there it goes. My brother has Parasite Eve. He should get that checked out then. Oh, the worm got me. No, move. Did someone mention Parasite? Because I don't know the actual words to it, but that's such a great intro. Hey, bruh. What's happening, bruh? Uh, this one? Greg, what are you doing? That is the intro to Parasite. I don't know the words, but I know how it goes. It's such a good song, too. <clears throat> was that supposed to be the par Yes, it was the Parasite intro. I'm not going to sing the screaming parts. What's the matter? You can't handle my rhythmic genius? I got it. That's why those those are the words, right? You could deny I'm wearing jeans. But there's sweats between you and me. There you go. Maybe I should do that. Maybe I should get into the whole uh who does that Aki dearest? Like the the fake lyrics and stuff. No, she does the um uh like literal intros. Is this the one where she gets naked by the end of the game? Only on the true ending. Uh, I started my worm business 10 months ago. With my success, I am known as the king of worms. Silver Gun. Yeah, Silver Gunner does it too. Silver Gunner does it. Yeah, um, Silver Gunner does it. Aki Dearest does the literal uh, <laughs> how naked. Fully naked, but they edit it so that it's it's considered sad. You know how when, uh, when in Magical Girl anime, they get naked, but you don't see anything? That's sort of how they do this game. How many bits for you to sing Live and Learn? I don't know. I I, I need to hear the song first just to make sure that I'm thinking of the right song. Um, if the prices continue to grow, I will buy a large house for us. Till then, I will keep raising worms and sell, sell, sell. A rep from Toronto, an outdoor facili uh, facility supplier, wanted to buy my land today. He said they want to build a trendy camping site. I said no to the rep. I am not going to give up this farm for any price, no matter how much they offer. I will never give up my worm farm. Never! Worm prices dropped to a record low. This must be a bad dream. I got 2,000 new baby worms coming today, and more are coming. Did you sing Pumpkin Hill? <laughs> the worm farm is running out of room, and I'm running out of money to feed the worms. What will I do if the prices keep falling? Uh, you could always kill people and feed them corpses. I signed a contract with Toronto today. I had no choice. The warm market is no good. At least the terms I negotiated were good for Rachel and I. I will keep the farm, but they will cut some of the forest around it. They will let me join the management of the campsite. I was a talented businessman, and my talent will be used well. Watch me, Rachel, as I set out for a fresh start. You become a man. A mannequin is a, is a very, very good way to put it. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, Sailor Moon style. That's okay because Usagi Serena is fourteen. That's okay censorship. <laughs> Dark Hurricane season. Yeah, right. I, I, I we always joke about like if we hit the lottery, where would we move and stuff like that. I would never move to like I would never move to somewhere that has a season for horrible like disaster season. Like oh, it's it's 
it's November. It's time for hurricanes and, and tornado. Like I, I would not move there where you can, where you can accurately catalog when disasters are going to happen. Okay. Sorry. Uh, okay. Yeah. That's why I have all the sympathy in the world for people who are stuck living in places like that. You know, I'm sure normally it's beautiful. Yeah. I don't like that she gets up so slow you can't avoid that stuff. Woo! I live in New England. The worst thing we deal with regularly is blizzards, and those aren't that bad. Yeah, see, I live in uh, Pennsylvania, and Pennsylvania is that sort of moderate zone where we get, we get a little bit of everything, but not disaster levels of anything. Worm business. Oh, well, why worms? Oh, oh, oh. Uh, how long has it been since we lived like father and daughter? Okay, so Rachel's his daughter. Luck has been on my side since the beginning. You are my lady luck. But now Toronto has cheated me. They never let me join the business. Instead, I work at the 24-hour store as a live-in employee. Jesus. The contract was a big lie. The farm was cemented immediately. The forest was cut down and wild monkeys died. There are no monkeys in America. Um... Tell me, Rachel, how could this have happened? Oh, I guess this is probably Japan. Uh, Rachel, you look well as always, but I'm worn out these days. Running the store 24 hours by myself is tough. The health is decreasing daily. My heart is, I'm all right, or not. I can't breathe. I need help. I think I'm dying. I no longer wish to live. I can hardly breathe. I am dying. I'm probably not putting as much emotion into that as I should. I don't want to leave you, Rachel. I can't hold on anymore. Goodbye, my Rachel. Oh, my God. So he died. Mm. Back. Someone just rang the wrong buzzer. Okay. Stupid trade-off, I guess. Cheap to... Yeah, cheap to live. Yeah, people have told me before, like, living in this... For what we pay to live here, we could have a house twice this size in, in the south. Like, the further south we go. <laughs> I need... I need a strong, dominant winter season in order to kill insects so that they don't get very big because I am not a huge fan of mosquitoes and stuff. You're putting in as much act much emotion as the actors in PS1 games. Well, Rooster, I guess you weren't here yesterday. That's about how much a a effort they put into it here. <laughs> All right, so All right, so I can go either way. Oh, my God. Where am I? Oh, my God. I can't zoom in. Here, I'll go this way. Yeah, I. but there's also no jobs down here. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You are only putting in as much emotion as the actors in PS1 games. Oh, dude. I was reading your message, and you got me, you got me trapped. Look, she's so far away, I couldn't hear anything. much emotion as the actors in PS1 game. Yeah, as in as in I'm reading it very cheesily, right? Damn hentacles. What is a man? A miserable little pile of well now he doesn't say that anymore. Now now that they have changed the audio. Oh, oh. Yeah, you put in zero effort. Anti-shock break. Oh, I think that prevents me from being knocked down. All right, I gotta let that bleed go away. There we go. I have nothing to to a helicopter. Yeah, you you can fight them if you have a weapon, or you can run. If you fight them, you obviously run the risk of losing more health and all. But you get adrenaline back as you if you fight them and win. It's not a difficult fight, but the me it's not a fighting game, so the mechanics for fighting are kind of awful. I believe jank is the word that people like to use. What is a ham? <laughs> Why does she go back? <laughs> yeah, I don't know why she goes. Well, she goes back because she's trying to rescue her friend. Yeah, um... Okay. She... 
she's only here. This is an amusement park, like a horror amusement park. And the only reason she's here is because her friends got invites. And they went and she didn't. But they, they, no one's talked to them in three days. I'm actually a fish, not ham. I'm actually not a ham. I'm a broom. Uh, okay, so you have to go this way. So we went the long way. I wanted those items. Why is MS Paint on your stream layout? That is the frame for my alert box. If you if you donate more than five bits, you'll see it for yourself. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. Her heartbeat is, is through the roof. I think she'll pass out if her heart rate gets too high. I hate that I can't freaking... Oh my god, I can't... She's going to end up dying of a heart attack. Say so what? Look at this. <laughs> I didn't I didn't actually mean you had to do it. <laughs> uh do I have anything to lower my heart rate because I am like relax this pulse fully. Oh my god, yeah, thank you. Greg is retro, that's his stuff. Oh yeah, yeah, of course that's my thing. I like to do, you know, I like to do modern. I try and do modern stuff every once in a while, which mostly ends up being Fortnite. <laughs> Fortnite, and it was Splatoon. Um, but I, I like retro games. They're fun. They're accessible. They're much cheaper. Did you just ingest nitro? Yeah, you ingest nitroglycerin in order to slow your heart rate down. Nitroglycerin for your heart rate. There's like adrenaline shots. When we get the heart, the, the game actually, this is like a scale for a scale down as this game is. This this right now is a scaled down version of the game. When we get the horror monitor back, there's more. You'll see the rest of the game. This is like a weird stage. This is more like a survival stage. Let me let my heart rate go down or my bleeding. Greg is an old heat. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not fat. I'm a classic model. All right. Run. Here we go. Can you explode after doing that? Oh my god! I wish. Johnny is modern Greg. I, I guess I, yeah, I guess so, right? Uh, okay, so this way, this way, this way. I don't like not being able to have an on-screen map. Okay, so it's pretty much a straight shot. I mean, Silver, I just got a box copy of Joshua Story 64. Box copy of Joshua Story? Isn't that one of the Wisdom Tree games? Why does that sound like a Wisdom Tree game? Tens of thousands of dollars worth of. If I if I believed my collection was worth that much, I Yana, that would probably be motivation to sell it. <laughs> no, nah, I think there's some value there, but I don't know. The the we talked about this before. The value for me and my collection is is the memories that come with it. All right. Is there anything here? Oh, okay. Yoshi story. Oh, Yoshi story. <laughs> How did that change for what? That changed Yoshi to Joshua. <laughs> Stream some Bible games during the Christmas holiday season. Oh boy. Yeah, well, yeah. Why did why did it change Joshua's story to Yoshi story, or Yoshi story to Joshua story? All right, so wait, hold on a second here. This is a big giant area. There's an item there. There's ways to go here. All right, so let's see what's going on here. I feel like we're getting a cutscene or something. Hmm. 
Why did that say goal? Get him! Get him! No, you gotta attack them. There's so much blood. Come on, come on, Z targeting. Yeah, there's no, like, as far as I can tell, there's no targeting button. Hit him. Hit him. All right. So I got them all. Thank you. If you hadn't have shown up, God knows what that slimy monkey would have done to me. So you were the one who was calling for help. You received my telepathic message. Oh, that's so cool. From now on, I am with Erico. I feel very strong. Telepathic message? Wait, did that finish up the stage? Oh, I thought that finished up the stage. I was about to lose my mind. Oh my god, the compression in the voice acting. Alright, so let's... We have... Fix the bleeding. Alright. Joshua's touch and go. You know what, bruh? As a as a religious type game, that's probably not a good name. That's why when I, I think Joshua, I hear religious. I hear I hear religious name. Cause there was a an NES game was was Joshua, wasn't it? That was one of the the wisdom tree games. Oh wait, did I get the horoscope back? I didn't even get the horoscope back. Oh, she's so wounded. This must be the goal. Kicking it doesn't seem to work. Well, I didn't see you try, so. She's hurt. Like, I have no items. Oh, wait. Let me see what this, uh, this other thing does. Drug was made to extend our lives. Let's try that out. Uh, restored her health. Okay. All right. I guess that's a full heal. made fun of us Strant employees <laughs> Rachel that Rachel the custom <laughs> bit badge yeah you have your partner favorite. <laughs> with his pointy little fingers Oh, man, not another drunk worker. I can't even stand looking at you. Get out of here. Don't ever come back. You hear me? Hey, Craig. Okay. Not entirely sure what that was. I don't think that was, that was what's his name? Locked. <laughs> he died like green biker dude. All right, I feel like I'm missing something here. This guy have anything on him? Nothing. Okay, that's right. If you've ever seen the movie Tremors, that's pretty much what's happening here. Have you played this before? 
a very long time ago. I played this a very, very long time ago. I have beaten it all the way through. But like I said, it, it's been a while. <laughs> uh, I need to head off and get food. Uh, uh, later, Tomcat. Thank you. Thank you so much for the bits. Uh, thank you for stopping in and hanging out. More importantly, thank you for stopping in and hanging out, I should say. Uh, okay. So wait, I can't, no, I came from down here. It wouldn't let me go that way. I can't go in there without, okay. I came from down here. I can't go this way because it's locked. <laughs> Attack of the killer tentacles. Next time. On Dreamcast, Ball Z. What about this way? Is there anything this way? Nothing that way. You just magically can't go that way. Love it. I killed those things. Where the hell's my horoscope? Uh, and how did you 100% games during your time without extensive guides? It depends. Um, I, I used to get Nintendo Power because it. We've had magazines for a long time. Uh, truth be told, sometimes you just didn't know whether you were 100 percenting it or not. I, I think a lot of games just weren't as elaborate as they used to be. Uh, but there used to be a lot of reliance on things like word of mouth and stuff like that. Uh, you know, talking to other people about what was going on. Uh, again, like I said, there were video game magazines and they always had tips and tricks and stuff like that, which was literally the names of one of the magazines. Oh, wait. Um, oh, that's what it is. Okay. Yeah, again, if, you, if you've ever seen Tremors, you can't step on the ground. Uh, or at least you can't do it for very long. But yeah, like that was always what we kind of... That was always kind of what you did for video games. You know, you, you talk to other people and it was, Hey, how did you, did you get past this part? How'd you get it? Did you find this? How'd you get it? I don't think you... Yeah, so you can't step on the ground at all. Since it's October, I've been playing Castlevania Portrait of Ruin. That Nintendo Power Hotline. Now Johnny has a case of the Borg. <laughs> but yeah, like those are, that was what you did. Oh wait, no, no, I hit the wrong button. Yeah, see, there is an item over there. That was what you did. The, yeah, the floor is lava. There we go. I got it. Baby bottle. Oh yeah, you need to take it back to the dude. Oh, I missed the car. Go, go. <laughs> Gotta hit the button really fast. All right, so now I have the baby bottle, so I think I can. I think I show it to him. Uh... <laughs> Where's Kevin Bacon and Michael Gross when you need them? <laughs> God, was it Michael Gross? Who who's the other one that I'm thinking of that was in uh in Tremors in the later one? Baby bottle. Wait, that's I was looking for that. It's my dear Rachel's nursing bottle. Oh, how I miss those days. I'd nurse her with this bottle and she'd look up at me. It, it's fan service. I guess you're not from the Drought Corporation. Please, come inside. Uh -huh. I have something to tell you. Yeah, that sounds safe. Fred Ward. Fred Ward is who, is who I was thinking of. What company made this game? Um, what's the logo on there? Like AEA or something? There we go. Or AIA. I, I don't know what they did, but I think it's Sega, though. I think Sega did this game. All right. 
So the six, you say the six cents is going off. That means there's items around. They trick you. Six cents. Ah, damn it. Six cents either means an item or a, a fight. But I think in this situation, it's going to be an item. Yeah, here we go. 199 for milk rig. I don't know. That's a good that's a good price for a gallon of milk. Yeah, I think this is Sega. Damn it, stop going outside. Alright. Thanks for coming. I'm sorry I yelled at you. Ever since the Drond Corporation cheated me, I've had a hard time trusting anyone. I apologize. By the way, I want to ask you a favor. You seem decent and trustworthy. It's about my beloved Rachel. I wrote the details in my will. It's all right here. Please read it, will ya? Please. $4 for milk. <laughs> you know, got these little buggies here. You know, Sounds rather good considering that he's dead. We didn't really see that baby. I'm, I'm starting to be a little concerned here. Like I said, I played this game before, but I don't really remember it. I, I'm, I, why do I feel like the baby was, was something weird going on? Dave's not here, man. I'll hang myself from the water tower tonight. If you read this, I'll be around the first block of hell. I have good memories of the worm business. There's just one thing on my mind, Rachel. Without me, what will happen to her? She will surely suffer from hunger. So I would like to ask you a favor. Kill Rachel so I can be together with Rachel in the next world again. This is the best for us. Now kill her exactly the way I tell you. Burn her with a flamethrower. No other way, okay? This may sound cruel, but you'll see why soon. I really need you to do this favor. I'm asking you. I'm begging you! About the flamethrower. I keep the one that I was using for weeding in a secret place. I don't want Doronto to find it. I'm taking the memo. I'm taking the memo that shows the secret place with me. Find it on my body. I'll go ahead and wait for Rachel around the second corner of hell. David Rodriguez. All right. Let's find some items here. All right. That's the rusty key. All right. So are we in agreement that Rachel is the giant worm? Does that seem... Does that seem like the most likely scenario is that Rachel is the giant worm? Uh, that seems pretty likely. Yeah, I, I'm getting the idea that Rachel is the giant worm. And that he was babying it, so it's... Oh, it's it's weirder than we thought. <laughs> oh wait, one minute. Uh, Dave's note. All right. All right. Okay. All right. How worm farming is a viable business. Oh, uh, a rooster in, in a fishing community at a, at a campsite or a lake where people go there if, to fish on a large scale and fishing is the commercial market of the area. Oh, yeah. Worm farming is, is a fortune. Well, it's a lot of money. All right, so he hung himself at a water tower. All right. Are there any items? Okay. Good Lord. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 
bet they compete with cricket farmers too. Some of them do. Did, okay, those women have guns. What in the world is going on? They have guns. Why do those monsters have guns? Why are there sexy women with guns? What is what is this? <laughs> yeah, see where we went fishing uh, when I was growing up, they didn't have uh, we didn't fish with crickets or anything. <laughs> they have guns to kill you. Okay, all right. <laughs> Don't be dissing on hot girls with guns. <laughs> Asking the real questions here. All right. He, that, all right, so that's the water tower. Now, this is an item for a fight. Just help me, man. Dummy, man. Knock down, dummy, man. Ugh. Knock down, dummy, man? Mysterious catastrophe at campsite. All visitors killed. Site expected to close. Bodies of campgoers and destroyed cars found at Camp David in Arizona. Cause of the incident is still unknown. Uh, local authorities rule out human intervention due to the scale of the incident. Slow progress by investigators caused by lack of evidence. Camp David was once a worm farm owned by David Rodriguez. Toronto acquired the land and built Camp David. Camp David opened on the 20th of last month featuring wild monkeys and a drive-in theater. There are no more monkeys. All right. I don't think I can climb ladders. There we go. All right. I buried it in the ground in front of the movie billboard. You can see the sign through the work hut window. What? Buried it in the ground in front of the movie billboard. You can see the sign through the work hut window. Okay, so I guess I have to go to the. Where's I? Uh, where's the work hut? Dave's just hanging around. Dave's not here, man. I'm surprised that doesn't skyrocket your. Yeah, it really should skyrocket your heart rate. Because I know this is going to be another fight that I have to. I just heard the Dreamcast load. See, there's going to be another fight. Can't open mouth. Ugh. All right. So there's stuff over here. There goes the flamethrower. Oh, it's right there. They made it sound like it was going to be some puzzle. All right. According to this, there are items in here. Bio body and Dave's diary one. Oh, that's why we got two and three. <laughs> I bought a worm from a vendor so I could raise worms for sale. The vendor brought me his last worm. That worm was you, Rachel. You are more special than any of the other worms I knew. Rachel is the name I wanted to give my daughter. Oh, uh. Now go and have lots of babies. Help me make some money. Don't you need like a boy worm too something terrible happened to rachel today it was my fault but i still don't know what happened i was playing with her under the tree as you what then somehow she slipped from my hands and fell into a gas tank i picked her up right away i thought she would die after being soaked in so much gas i was terrified strangely she started sucking the gas off of her body she never did weaken how bizarre that my little girl did such a thing all I can do now is look after her. Boy, this game is... It seems Rachel is growing too fast since the gasoline incident. accident. Now all I can do is feed her as much gasoline as she desires. She gets bigger and bigger each day, and she doesn't look like a worm anymore. It is okay to get big, but her size is beginning to scare me. She's in good shape, though. I'm getting worried about her. She outgrew me in 10 days. Her reproduction rate is 10 times higher than any other worm. Her babies are all... All of high quality, and they sell well. You're selling her children? 
Uh, I did get my wish of wealth and happiness. Bring one, bring on more worms, Rachel. Oh God, this game is. This game is a stick of mozzarella wrapped in parmesan. Rachel. Please burn Rachel, please. Par for the course for any fifties through eighties horror flick. Worm is Rachel. I know. You open your mouth in horror. Huh. That's weird. Alright. Yeah, it's back. I just stopped it and started it again, and it worked fine. The bad voice acting killed the stream for a minute there. Oh boy, it loaded. But whenever I hear that loading, whenever I hear the disc turn on the system. All right, so I, I guess we can go and fight it now. I'm still a little upset that there doesn't seem to be a save point anywhere. Because that means we have to do this all in one go, if that's the case. Maybe there was one here, we just don't... We just didn't see it. photo area no place to take a picture come on please hopefully the flamethrower isn't too clunky if it's anything like the rest of this game it's super clunky <laughs> so i'm trying to avoid that all right that was where what's her name was where i saved her let's go back there maybe there's a save point there that i missed Ill bleed. I L L bleed. Did I miss it? Come on, please tell me I missed a save or something. <laughs> Let's just hope the flamethrower is lit. <laughs> or <a> little bleed. <laughs> yeah, it could be any combination of that. See it. Yo, what you playing, little bleed? All right, all right. All right, it has an infinity symbol. No, no, oh no. No, don't do that. All right, so I can't, I can't kill it yet. As long as it's got the infinity symbol by its name, by its health bar. Hey, Finally, we're getting to the hentai. All right, so I missed something. But it doesn't move due to lack of gas. So I don't have gas. Do I have? It's a hentacle. Alright, so I have the flame... No, I don't have a flamethrower. Okay, here we go. Uh, I have the flamethrower. Cannot be used here. I need gas for the flamethrower. But there's no other place to go and get gas. Please don't tell... Oh! Like a doofus. There's gas pumps right here that I can't seem to interact with. Okay. All right, so I don't have gas. Let's go back to that room. Is there 
gas in here or a gas can. See, no items are coming up on the on the search. <laughs> Pranked. <laughs> All right. Was there? Hold on. Let me see if there was. Was there something in the note? Yes, read the note. Burn it in the ground. No, that's it. Okay, so I found it. Push the button, push the button. Push the button, push the button. I really hope it's not back, because I think we can still get into fights when we go back. Maybe you don't need fuel. Uh, it, I tried using it and it wasn't working. Or maybe I need to, hold on, maybe I need to use it while I'm in the fight. No, no, because I can't access my items while I'm in the fight. It's, it's kind of screwy. Yeah, how do you equip, equip the flamethrower? I, I, I don't know. Let's, let's see here. Let's see what's on the map when I come back this way. I better not have missed something. That's going to be stupid if I got to go all the way back. I mean, I started like right in the middle of the woods. So there's an item there. That's where I came from. <sighs> Is the flamethrower missing some part? I don't think so. What do you think? Should we go back? Should we go all the way back? Plumbers don't wear a tie. It's going to be part of Spook Town. No, definitely not. All right. Let's, let's see if we can go back and not get into too many fights. And there's a fight. We didn't I feel like we didn't miss anything let's just let's just go we'll just do this the flamethrower would make her explode I I mean technically it will I would hope so I'm gonna end up having to do all of this over again Because if we die, if there's no save. We haven't saved. Oh, wait. Let me finish this bleeding. You have to stop moving for the bleeding to stop. But the heart rate is still up. Can you go back and say, we haven't even passed the save point. Like we haven't we haven't passed any save points. All right. Um, where is the item that was here? It's there. We're gonna get that item. Hopefully, it's something we can use. Uh, so we're gonna turn right here. Yeah, we haven't passed any save points. How to equip the flame. <laughs> Spectre, is that a joke or is that actually how you do it? Because I don't think we I don't think we have the gas tank, right? We don't have the gas tank, do we? No, item sensor flamethrower. Yeah, anti-shock brace. I don't know why we have a wrench. <laughs> Just be literal. <laughs> yeah. You say that, but with this game, I just I just don't know. Uh okay. Oh, you know what? Hold on. We didn't get the notification. Oh, there we go. Perfect timing hydrate bot.
Kale hydrate. Use the wrench on the flamethrower. Maybe. Can you do that? Let's see. Let's see if I can uh, equip the wrench or something. What can I do with the wrench? Cannot be used here. Okay. Oh, the worm's over there. All right. All right. So that's what we're doing. Basically, going to hug the right. If this item isn't what we're looking for, there's a way back that we can go. <laughs> well, our friends are dead. That's probably why they let you rescue the friend early. Because doing the rest of this takes so long. Or could potentially take long. That's why if you know what you're doing, it probably works fine. Uh, this way. Harry! Alright, so I think there's an item here. It's a steak dinner. Okay, fantastic. That, that doesn't actually help us. I mean, it's delicious. I'm making chicken dinner tonight, but... Alright, so... Okay. And there are no other items we missed. All right, so we're gonna go right and then right. And then this leads us back to the beginning, which I think is where we had the horror scope stolen from us. And I keep calling it the horror scope, and it's not the horror scope. <laughs> How could I what? kind of chicken fried grill uh i do like a like pan fried with um with some bok choy cut into it and then some uh parmesan garlic rice so good uh, is there anything here all right see there were some items over here okay this is the very beginning let's see if there's a safe point in here too Oh, yeah, this is all about the drop in worm prices. Um, okay. An artificial brain. Audio sync issue. Uh, is my camera desynced? All right, those items had nothing to do with anything. All right, so there's nothing. Audio is not, so oh, okay, uh, hold on, hold on. Yeah, that's an easy fix, hold on. Deactivate, activate. There we go. That usually fixes it. All right, so yeah, there's nothing here. What the hell did I miss? I have no idea what I missed. Right? There's nothing here. <laughs> I see it's like Greg is in a Godzilla flick. Oh, uh, why a Godzilla flick and not a not a martial arts movie flick? No, it's Spectre. I, I it bothers me too. That's why I don't like having it. I say all the time. I'll deal with a an average camera, bad audio, I can't watch. I can't watch a video or stream or anything when the audio is bad. 
Yeah, audio is the most important thing. That's why, like, I got my camera, and I love my camera, but I was very, very uh, focused on getting a an audio mixer so that I had control over the audio and I could make sure it was good. A barrel of gas in in an area since Rachel fell in. That's what I was looking for. Where where the where Rachel is. You can't step on the ground or the fight automatically starts. So I'm wondering if uh, there's something around where Rachel is that I'm supposed to get to. Oh, God. Why did the heart rate go up so high? Jeez, her heart's about to jump out of her chest. And you know what's going to happen. You know what's going to happen. It's going to be something really dumb that we, there was no way we were supposed to know that. The hensicles, man. The helicopter is super convenient just to be around the whole time. Well, that is because uh, the idea is that this is all an amusement park. So all of that stuff is built in to the, to the aesthetic. Oh, God. To the aesthetic of what's going on. Yeah, all of this is supposed to be like an amusement park. Just think of a gigantic escape the room. Is basically what this is supposed to be. She's at 151 heart rate, dude. She's gonna die. I, I think she can... Let me see something here. I do have another nitroglycerin. I have to take it. I have no I have no choice but to take that. I would love to do an escape room. I You know, it seems kind of fun, but I've never had the urge to go to one. Yeah, I never had the urge to go. It seems like a great idea, but I, you know, I'll be honest with you. I'm not a huge uh, horror fan uh, normally. I'll be honest with you. I feel like my anxiety going to a, an escape room would be through the roof. Uh, oh, oh, wait, I'm going the wrong way. Um, that way. Oh, okay, so back the way I came. Oh, I thought I missed it. Would a cornfield maze count? Uh, I don't think a cornfield maze would count. I feel, I feel like a cornfield maze would be a little, as weird as it sounds, a little bit less confining than an escape the room where I'm literally trapped. Come on, where I'm literally trapped in a room. use the key i'm looking at a guy oh yeah we went through the fence we if you're looking at a guide go beyond the uh we got the flamethrower the flamethrower was the last thing we got we just don't seem to have any gasoline for it i was unable to use it in the fight i think i might know where to go i think it is actually i honestly do think it's some stupid thing that we're that you're supposed to go back somewhere but you don't know I've heard people get stuck in one all. Oh, oh, uh, the the cornfield maze. Yeah. Now search all the signs of the Dummy Man movie, and you. Oh, that's why that guy, Dummy Man. Okay, I remember that guy saying Dummy Man to me. Looks like the Dummy Man is me. Oh. Go run, Erico. Go. 
And now we're all looking at guides. <laughs> a lot of escape rooms that aren't horror themed. Some actually have someone in the room to help you keep to help you if you need anything. Oh, okay. Yeah, thank you for looking at the guides. See, I see. I did all of this without looking at a guide. Okay. I I have a feeling because I think there is a movie sign over here. Dummy man. Right there. Uh, am I close enough to it? No, it cannot be used here. See, once you... Okay, so uh, maybe from the back of it. Hey, hurry up! All right. All right. Saw a major spoil. Ah, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean for you to see any spoilers or anything. All right, can I access the dummy man signs from here? Because I think this is no, no. Dummy man. Here we go. So let me guess. Okay, so that's going to fall over, and it's going to allow me to cross it in order to get to some gas cans or something. It's your turn to be dummy. Okay, yeah, let's see. There we go. Uh, Rye, was your was the spoiler you saw about the true ending? So we're in there. So yeah. So we'll go back, and then we'll ha now we'll have a platform that we can jump across. Uh huh. Right there. Oh, about Erico. Okay. Oh, no. <sighs> Look out. It's the tentacle. The tentacle is right by the helicopter thing. It's trying to get away from me. Woo. Oh, damn it. I hit the wrong button. You have to do it all in one shot. Woo. Uh oh, come on. Run. The tentacle is trying to escape me. You know where to go next. Yeah, you have to jump across these stupid cars. Because if you miss one, it resets the whole thing. And of course, her heart rate is through the roof again, and I don't have any items for that. Oh, I hate jumpy games. Not, not jump scare, like, well, I don't like that either. <laughs> Yeah, no, I don't think anybody's keeping track of my tentacle encounters. Hmm, wait, this isn't one of those, like, I'm going to need to undo another one. Okay. All right. Oh, I am going to need to undo another one. Ah, damn it. Is any of it real to the character? Um, it's it's real scary, and and I think they think that the threat of dying is real. Okay, so yeah, I can't. 
There are more dummy man signs. Don't step off the car. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, it did say multiple. <laughs> and her heart rate skyrockets. Is it cannon dangerous or is it like I said? Uh, I think it's cannon danger. I think because if you don't rescue your friends, they're dead. Like it says they're killed. So I think it's actually cannon danger. Like there are things where like the people, uh, I think there are some people that actually die. So that was that one. So all the dummy man signs. Like yesterday, we, we got to a room. It was great. We got to a room where uh, the boss was being controlled by this guy, and he was, like, going nuts. So she beat the guy up with a baseball bat. To s that was how you battled the boss, was you found the control room for the thing, and you beat the guy up. All right. So let's go. Let's just double check. There are no more dummy man. Uh, dummy man three. Yes, use the wrench. All right, do we have the wrench anymore? All right, we still have the wrench. Any chance we missed an item in here? Like, how would you know this? <laughs> you know, these older games, you know, they, they count on trial and error. He said dummy man. Yeah, he didn't say dummy man billboards. Dummy man three. Why do horror movies get so many sequels? Because they, oh, what? What? Oh my God. I have to fight them. I need, I need to like, I think killing them will lower my uh, heart rate. Did she just try and hit me with that? She's hitting me with a gun. Does she not know how they work? Ow, oh my God. Just raise my adrenaline. Whip it good. Yeah, saw well, yeah, saw movies or something like eight. <laughs> yeah, now take their guns. I wish. Well, hold on, let's drink some let's drink some hassy. Let's get let's get a hassy down. You're supposed to do this in a half an hour. What's a bad heart rate for? I, I think this is a bad, I forget how high it goes. Let me see if there's a rating for how high it goes. Uh, adrenaline's 540, heart rate is 154. Well, 154 is what it's at now. It needs to be under 120. I, I forget, like, I think if it gets too high, she'll pass out or something. So the scares, no, Spectre, there are more scares than that. Uh, the problem is that we got this thing stolen at the beginning of this level, so we can't play the game the way we normally have to play through it. Uh, 
it, hopefully we can finish this fast and then I can show you what the normal game looks like. Threatening situation is 150 BPM. Well, she is definitely in a threatening situation. Okay. Let's, uh, let's take a look at the map and see if we can figure out where we're going here. Am I, I'm getting, I guess I'm going to get and get it there. Okay. Yeah, normally the way this game works is that those meters at the top, sight, hearing, and smell, and sixth sense, will let you know if there's a trap nearby, something that's going to jump out and scare you for whatever reason. The monitor that we have lets us look, it lets us see them and mark them. We spend our adrenaline in order to mark them. When we do that, uh, it basically deactivates the traps. If we don't do that, something will jump out and scare us and then it will cause your heart rate to go up or it may damage you or it'll trigger a fight. Oh. I really like this game. It's so wild. All right, except for the parts where I'm friggin' you have to do this all in one turn. I promise I've beaten this game before. <laughs> Was that delay? Was that, is there a delay again? <laughs> is there a delay between what I'm saying and what you're seeing? Do I have to keep talking so that you can uh, check for the delay? Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. About half a second. Wow. Yep, there's a bit. All right, so let's let's try and reset it again. Deactivate. Activate. Okay. Okay. Maybe that did that fix it? <sighs> Woo! 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 There we go. All right. We're getting there. A little bit out of time. Oh my God, I think I just barely missed the ground there. All right, let's see it. All right, so that's the third dummy man sign. Oh, her controls are so hard. Jump! Why didn't she jump? Got any puns today? I've always got some puns. I've always got the sweetest puns. That's why I keep butter in my back pocket. Nothing like nothing like sweet buttery puns. It's gonna it's gonna randomly appear. I knew it was going to happen. I knew it and didn't say anything. Well, why didn't you tell the rest of us? I stole a wonderful croissant. Drop my croissant. This segment of the game is... Yeah, this is... This is an unappealing sort of uh, uh, aesthetic to a game. You know what this reminds me of? Um, and it's going to bring back like like warlike memories for anybody that played it the, the the nightmare sequences in max pain if you ever played the first max pain oh my god it had these nightmare sequences where you had to run on these trails of blood and it was the worst She didn't run. She didn't run. She's gonna end up passing out. I'm 
played a bit of Max Payne on the GBA. I never played the GBA one. How is the GBA game? Mass Effect 3 has the worst nightmare sequences. I don't remember those from Mass Effect. So slow. I love Mass Effect 3, though. People always badmouth Mass Effect 3, and I never, I never understood it. I thought that game was phenomenal. Those games, I, I would... I wouldn't stream those games. They were a bit of a slog to play through, especially since there's three of them. But I love the Mass Effect. I was a huge Mass Effect fan. Only Mass Effect 3 had those. Yeah, I, I think I only played through Mass Effect 3 once. It's okay. Not the best. <laughs> yeah, I loved it. I, I, I've, I've always heard people badmouth the game. Like, I, I don't know what you're talking about. I think people didn't like the ending of Mass Effect 3, which I, again, I don't understand because I thought the ending was great. Oh my, my, my freaking hand, my, like my thumb hurts from having to do this. I dare say a slogra. It made a lot of nice, uh, made a lot of nice gameplay changes. I just thought it was a great game. Like I thought the story was awesome and, and uh, I love the, I love the sci-fi-ness of it all. Like I, I thought it played very well. It did make some great, um, quality of life changes Whew. all right oh my god all right control and destroy in the last second they give you a third choice that's obviously better than both of them well it's not the last second um you have to have your military power over a certain height over a certain amount and then they'll give you the third option I, I found out what I needed. I knew there were multiple endings. So I found out what I needed to do. Like I got the, I chose the good ending and uh, like the save or whatever it was. Then I went online and found out that you needed to raise your military power. So I said, okay. So I raised my military power and then I went and I played through it again. Uh, and then I watched the destroy ending or whatever it is, or uh, the, the red ending. I watched that online because I was like, I'm not going to play through the game again and, and be renegade. Okay. Okay. Woo! Yeah, choice between control and destroy. That's what it was. Yeah, the first one. I did the control and then I did the the the, the green ending, basically. I feel like the game prompts are being janky because the barrel has the gas. <laughs> yeah, it, it's right, right at the like they're it's, that's manufactured difficulty is what you call that. I did that for the best hero ending of Fable Three. Spent an hour or so grinding for money so I could do it. I don't mind when they hide good endings behind something that you can do at the end of the game. I don't like when it's like, oh, well, you need the good ending. You had to have done all of this stuff throughout the game, like. You want me to play through the game again, basically. Uh, oh, oh, uh, okay. So, there's a special fuel in there. So I, I would assume I need to use the flamethrower here. Fuel the flamethrower. Gasket! Woohoo! All right, so now it automatically started the fight. All right, that did nothing. Uh, how do I? Because I can't access items. Where is it? Oh, R button. Okay, that would see the R button. The shoulder button is the button to use the scope. Since when is that the weapon button? That just randomly became the weapon button. Without any prompting or explanation whatsoever, that is now the weapon. Boy, and and way to way to skimp on the sound effects here. The game isn't glitched or anything. I'm just not getting sound effects. Oh, 
Oh, I got it. Burn it! No, no! Woo! Burn it! I'm gonna burn it all! Is this your worm? There's no save point. This isn't actually that difficult. Oh my god, is this it's J JK? You have two more forms. Yeah, it's not dead. Grandpa! Rachel, I've missed you all so. You appear to be okay. Oh, that's a relief. At last, we can be together forever. Let's go back to hell. Hey, you, young one. Thank you. I'll never forget your kindness. What? What? I'm not drunk enough, or you're too drunk. I can't decide. <laughs> you're either not drunk enough or you're too drunk. It's one or the other. <laughs> and I've played this. <laughs> no, no, Latimer. He loved the worm uh, like a daughter. I don't know. Wow. I think I can burn through this. Can I use the flamethrower here? No. No. <laughs> that doesn't help. <laughs> Oh my god, this game is ridiculous. It's so great. All right, so the gas can. Maybe the. Oh no, wait, 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 wait. I use the flamethrower like an item, right? Hold on, let's see something here. Good lord. This, this freaking game. Um, I think I can use the flamethrower like an item. Or I use the gas can. Oh, okay. I'll use the... Okay. The car used it. Yeah, I'll use the gas in the car and then drive and bash my way through the fence. Okay. Yeah, I see it. Okay. Thank you, guys. Uh, there we go. This game, man. This game is something else. Cannot be used here. Oh, right here. So we play this for Horror Fest with SGB. I I think it would be better if we just let them play it for themselves. 
Oh yeah. Do I get to drive? I don't know if I get to drive. Whew. Like Shadow of Destiny. This game needs to be more. Oh, well, thank you for that, Rooster. I appreciate that. It's not a competition, though. <laughs> uh, it's amazing, is what this game is. All right, so let's save first. Let's go and save first. Yeah, take a souvenir photo. We don't need to worry about the bad ending here. Uh, saving this so we'll just save right here we were saving that file for something else but we can't do it so we're not gonna worry about it this game is cheese <laughs> they were way too hard in shadow of destiny it's funny because they, i remember them talking about shadow of destiny when it first happened uh i i thought they were talking about a completely different game i thought they were talking about shadow hearts because i remember thinking like, that's a good game but it was shadow hearts that i was thinking of I wonder how much this game is. I might pitch it to my brother. Uh, Spectre. I'm not going to. I'm not going to ruin that surprise for you. I'm going to let you go online and look up Ill Bleed for the Dreamcast. I don't. I don't think I'm going to ruin that one for you. Been enjoying you in the Symphony of the Night. Oh, thank you, Cragman. Yeah, 160 yesterday. Well, that was for new, but I think it's like 100. Uh, about one 110. Uh, oh, oh, so I have. All right, so let the freaking heart rate issue is becoming a problem. Oh, I can't upgrade her. Oh, man. Um, okay, so let's do that. again okay so that that's it so it's all no no there we go what should i record for halloween do we just mention or eternal darkness i do like eternal darkness this is the upgrade thing they perform an operation on her which is some weird kind of i don't know <laughs> i i don't i don't think i can say bs but Want a recovery operation? I don't think I need anything recovered. Oh, I think recovery is if you if you die in a stage, you need to have your stats fixed. <laughs> Looking at these prices, my heart rate went up. Uh, that's to revive dead characters. <laughs> Eternal darkness for me. <laughs> uh, play whatever you want for yourself. If I had to choose between those two games, I would choose Eternal Darkness, mostly because I don't like Luigi's Mansion. On the 3DS for Halloween, I wish I could record. I wish I could stream 3DS games just so I could uh, go back to Animal Crossing. I would love to stream Animal Crossing and go look at my old town. Boo, 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 boo. Yeah, I, I did not like Luigi's Mansion. That's why maybe on a subsequent playthrough it's a little bit better, but I did not like it. I do like the hub world of oh, this. The hub world theme for here. Been thinking of streaming casual speed runs of Mega Man X 1 through 3, but I unfortunately don't have the necessary. What ne. Craig, what necessary equipment are you missing? That's the beauty part. As long as you've got a semi decent microphone or, or a headset, 
you got everything you need to stream. Well, Spectre, you need to be here before my stream start at 2 o'clock because I have made this the music for my starting soon screen. Alright, so we just saved. That's the visitors. I don't remember what I do here. I don't remember what to do here. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Sounds like a song from Goemon's Adventure. I never played the Goemon, uh, the N64 game, right? I played the one on Super Nintendo. Let me buy some items. Uh, where's the... Oh yeah, it's the cashier. Everybody say hello to the cashier. I don't understand it. <laughs> I don't know either. Uh, so we got some money. We actually got some money. That'll raise my heart rate. Um, a guide said Michael is the best character in the game despite being very weak. But I don't want to play with anybody else. Right, let's buy a nitroglycerin. Uh, let's buy some gauze. Let's buy another gauze. Uh, adrenaline is the one that I always end up needing. A steak, a couple steak dinners. All right, so we got some items. So let's go and save again. Boom, 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 boom. All right. Yeah, I, I like like someone pointed out yesterday. I don't know if I would buy, I wouldn't know if I would eat any items that were obtained in this general setting. <laughs> uh, so that's the visitor's bank. Those are the two item places. We go down here. All right, so we're going to try the next stage. If we don't make it to a safe point, I'm going to stop and then we'll just start over again the next time we play. Golden Corral. Wood Puppet. Oh, I remember this level. Wood Puppets. There's two P's in there for some reason. All right, hold on. All right, so this is the next George level. George McLaughlin knew there was more to life than running a sawmill. He loved what he did, but he needed better equipment. He'd make the finest, fastest chainsaw man has ever seen. That chainsaw instantly would tear through wood with a nice clean cut and would make him the envy of anyone in the lumber business. He knew just the tree to cut to prove the merits of his product. It was 800 years old, huge, gnarly, and tough as nails. He took a picture of himself in front of the tree and then started to saw. Suddenly a face appeared on the tree and it swallowed him. He was presumed lost in a wilderness or eaten by a bear. No one cared because he was a loner anyway. Okay. Who took the picture? New workers took over the mill and everything went smoothly until seven years later when a hundred workers mysteriously disappeared. The relatives of the missing workers soon began receiving wooden boxes. The moment they opened them, a maniacal wooden doll jumped out and chased the terrified families. They used pans, sticks, or hammers to smash the dolls as best they could. Ironically, those wooden dolls spewed blood, and this freaked the people out even more. They called them wood puppets, and hoped they had seen the last of them. Me 
stupid. Is that this guy? This guy sounds like the guy that does the intro to Law and Order. <laughs> uh, man, this thing is an 80s, 80s filter, and I'd buy it as a legit slasher flick. <laughs> to the challengers. Break into the. What? McLaughlin Lumber Mill and solve the enigma of the wood puppets. Also, prove what happened in the disappearance of McLaughlin. Sarah? Why do you have that on the subway? <laughs> One hundred twenty thousand. It says she's the best, but I refuse. Erico Christie, all the way. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay, so now you get to see how the game really works. All right, my sight meter is going off. That means I'm within some within range of something that is going to cause a problem. Maybe something that's going to move or whatever, and it's going to scare me. Six cents. Six cents again means there's an item or a some kind of encounter nearby. And it was an item. <laughs> More hentai. I think that was a tree limb. Oh crap. Blood everywhere. So those are the kinds of things you're trying to avoid. So you're not supposed to run very fast. Because you need to ha you need to give your senses time to discover that there's a problem. Got a selection of good things on sale, stranger. All right, six cents. Oh no. Sensor was going off. Where is it? What? I wasn't even going that way. Oh, okay, that's what I was. Oh, she is a. She can use her fist. Haha! -ha. Suck it. Take this, crash test dummy. Boy, her, her standard attack is horrible. But I'm, I'll give it to her for being able to punch this crash test dummy so much. She knocked it to pieces. But all it does is restore adrenaline, and we haven't used any yet. All right. What? Right. Come on. Come on. Where is it? 
We're looking for all four senses to go up. All four senses going up at once means that we're near the monitor that we need to be able to uh, disarm these traps. Cool. Don't jump in the fire. Yeah, I, I learned that in my, in my World of Warcraft days. And that test dummy was made of was made of uh, flex seal, flex tape. Yeah, it, no, it caused a lot of damage. All right, if we walk, the bleeding slows down. Is it going out fast as we stop walking? Yeah, I want the bleeding to go away. I think we've used our, our face and body to disarm all the traps in the area, so. Or another monster. Another crash test dummy. Move! Hey, hurry up! Hey, hurry up! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get up! There are children, uh, Rooster, there are children everywhere. Keep cursing. <laughs> go, go right ahead. Just don't be crude about it. Remember, we're, we're, we're actually fine with cursing. I have no... Drink the damn hassy. Use the friggin' gauze. There we go. There! Oh my god! Was that so difficult? Yeah, we're all grown adults here. We're all we're all adults enough to handle a little language. There you go. Okay. Now her heart rate's all up. She's all worked up. Okay. All right. So now, as we see things, <laughs> I broke this Pringle in half. All right. So we take our time. All right. So now. Why do I feel like those saw blades are going to do something? So now we've marked the trap. So if we go over there and it was actually a trap, it will disarm and then we'll get some credit for it. Which it was indeed something. Get a little adrenaline back for it. But then there's a lot of dummies. Like... I'm gonna mark these two things. One of them is probably nothing. So you have to spend your your adrenaline wisely. See, so this was nothing. Nothing. And then that was one that we marked correctly. That's what this game is like. Macaulay Coffee Museum. Cool. Why does that look like it's going to be a fight? Hello, my name is George McLaughlin. I came to this beautiful forest seven years ago as a woodcutter. That's really all I knew how to do. Wood. <laughs> I 
I just got a piece of paper that says wood. It says aiming and possible scares get tricky. Not tricky. Uh, what you do is you hit the button, and then it goes into the mode where you point the camera around. Hey. All right. I never saw that before. Wood. Uh. Um, but like I said, there are a lot of... Uh, there are a lot of dummy uh, markers. To make, you spend a little bit of adrenaline every time you mark something, so there's a lot of dummy markers to make you waste Ooh, adrenaline. Who's going to cut the tree? Going to cut the tree? And I got to cut the tree because I love to cut the tree. Yo, ho, ho, and I'm out of control. I'm going to cut the tree. Like, are they statues? Why is there blood in them? <laughs> Why are the statues filled with blood? Oh, it's rain. Oh, the rain has started then, Ryan. Be safe. All right, all right. Hopefully we can get to a, <laughs> I don't like this kind of hentai. We got a whole hallway of this crap to go through. Huh. Anything over here? Oh, there was something over here. Hey, Mambo. Mambo Italiano. Hey, Mambo. Mambo Italiano. The heartbeat. <laughs> A calculator. I don't actually know what those are for. Invasion of the Floridians. Ooh. You're the you're the chicken nuggets uh, of all of all the chicken nuggets I know. Oh, I'm gonna use that one day. Of all the chicken nuggets I know, you're the chicken nuggets. Yeah, it's very descriptive. Uh, uh no. Feel like that's all right. All right. We can see something that's gonna scare us. The window. That was the that was the scare. Oh, there were two scares. Okay, good. Oh my god, there's so many freaking things here. They're all gonna be a waste, too. Only one of them is legit. And Squeak is here! Or Squeak, if you've been here, I always feel bad when I do that, and then the people have been here the whole time. Haha! <laughs> -ha. Yeah, scariest thing about this game is the price. Yeah, you just got here. There we go. Right there. I think that's the scare. You start to get an idea of how far away the scares are based on what's happening. Uh, based on how much your heart rate's going up. Oh, that was a scare. Are you serious? <laughs> C 
Come on, I missed the scare. Discount ticket. <laughs> I'm such a tryhard when it comes to humor. <laughs> You're not wrong, though. The, the price of this game is the scariest. Funny thing is, when I got it, uh, I paid 60 for it. And I remembered, I remembered agonizing over whether or not I was going to buy it. Like, I don't know if I want to pay 60 for it. And now I see the price. I'm like, thank God I paid 60 for it. 147 heart rate. I know. I feel very bad for her. Uh, end of the hallway. The problem is we're going to end up having to do all of this over again. That's a fight. It did it. it why did it just fling its penis at me? Okay, that's a slug. Boy, how scared. <laughs> it's like a, it really is like a Betty Hill skit. drawing yeah yeah it's it's like that but uh it's t-posing me i'm worried that it's t-posing me it, it's asserting its dominance that one this doll was randy can i interact with that in any way oh you can it's also addressed to his home nothing special here Right once before you should be dead. <laughs> ah, see what happened there? That's your friend. God, serious danger now. Hold on. All right, let's let's turn that down. I probably should have gotten more nitroglycerin. It's literally yeah, yeah. They're literally the the wood puppet dolls. That heartbeat was a BPM. <laughs> Greg would be a decent DJ. Uh, I would be a uh, drum step. Drum, I love drum step. Uh, be a drum step DJ or a, a drum and bass. At that at that high of, of beat per minute, that's a drum and bass beat. Hey, the ER. Can I use the discount ticket? I have these discount tickets, and I don't know how to use them. Hey, homecoming. I, I'm doing good. How are you doing? Uh, let's see. I don't know how to use these discount tickets. Um, <laughs> cannot be used here. Okay. Uh, recovery app. Oh, I could have done that. All right. I didn't know there was going to be a freaking hospital here. Is there a save point? Tell me there's a save point. There can't be a save point here. All right, maybe, maybe there is one later on. I, mean, I, I, would, I like a hospital, but I want a save point. Right. I, had a, I once had a resting heart rate of 100 and, 120. Good lord. So 
let's keep moving. I like where this is going. Please, save point. Save point. Save point! All right, we're, okay, so we're having this problem again where the save point doesn't work. What is the problem? Why is the safe point working? Let's just say there's an item nearby. Okay. Okay, fine. What? Oh, you can't be too close to it. That's... Are you kidding me? You can't be too close to it. Okay. That's stupid. I'm going to take a food plate. I'm going to eat my lemon fiber one bar here. Because truth be told, I'm feeling like I need it. I am officially trying to watch what I eat a little bit better. Is there more water here? I am actively drinking more water. I am trying not to... Uh, when I eat in the morning, when I get up to go to work in the morning, I'm going to try and get up a little bit earlier so I can have some cereal or something a little bit healthier as opposed to going to Wawa and getting a cupcake, uh, well, not a cupcake, a muffin. I mean, a muffin, there's just cupcakes in disguise, but I'm trying to do that. Uh, be, I'm trying to be a little more conscious about what I'm eating. I'm going to reduce my dinner portions. Sorry, I got something rolling around in my mouth there. I'm going to try and reduce my dinner portion so that I'm not eating as much. Uh, Greg, how was your vacation? My vacation, I was on vacation last week. It was a very, very, very good vacation. Normally, vacations feel very short. Uh, you know, you get to the end of the week and you think, oh, my God, where did the week go? I thought it felt like a long vacation. Like, it felt really good. The problem is it... It's always harder to get back to the normal routine. The better the better your vacation is, the worse it is to go back to work and to get back into the normal routine. Just start making YouTube videos of him eating so he can watch what he eats. <laughs> no, for that I would I don't I don't need to do that. I can just have the stream. I can just have my camera on every time at, at dinner. Soon, Greg will be all, what's that, eating eating croissants? Because, yeah, Greg could go for five buttered croissants right now. You like how I switch it between croissants and croissants? I think I say croissants as a, uh, as the, um, like, the I say it ironically. Like, people who say Jaguar, like, I'll say Jaguar instead of Jaguar, just because it, it, I know it annoys people. <laughs> Croissant. There's a great vine. <laughs> Not grape vine. Uh, a video where the guy, like, he's walking with a plate and somebody scares him. So he screams and he goes, ah! I almost dropped my croissant. <laughs> Been eating less and drinking flavored water. Lost quite a bit of weight, but excellent, Craig, man. 
I go through these phases where I want to do it. I lost tons of weight years ago, and it and I I I, I hate to admit it, but it felt very good. It, I I had a lot more energy. I mean, I was always tired because I was always going to the gym. But when, like on the days when I didn't go to the gym, I had so much energy and I felt so healthy. And now I just kind of don't anymore. Uh, I've seen that one. <laughs> I like to say sword <laughs> instead of sword. Yeah, I say sword. Drop the W. I say sword. Or my favorite, a penguin. I do like saying penguin. Uh, I do. I like penguin. I like islands instead of islands. Uh, my favorite joke about that is uh, people who pronounce vase as vase make me want to punch them in the foz. <laughs> I always get a kick out of that joke. Being physically or mentally sick can, can make you lose lots of weight. Being physically or mentally sick can make you lose lots of weight because mentally sick can make you gain a lot of weight depending on what the issue is. I like to say Eris and Rayquaza. Isn't it Rayquaza? I always said it as Rayquaza. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> uh, I do nun tablets in water. N nun tablets? Like, like little crosses? Nice alternative to regular electrolyte drink. Oh, it's Squeak. Um, you mean like electrolyte drink like Gatorade and Power? No, they're not actually that good for you. Uh, what I do is they, they make the Mio, the, and the Kool-Aid one, the one that you put in the water, they, you could just use like one squirt and you don't get a lot of the sugar and stuff. They're actually really good. Titus. Yeah, I say Titus. I actually, no, I used to say Titus. I used to say Titus because he was very watery. Like he always had that watery sword and it reminded me of Tide. Oh, shored. Oh, <laughs> I think you should shrug. Um, I was mentally sick several years and I dropped like 50 pounds. Yeah, right. Me mentally sick, it, it kind of goes either way. Like you either, you can get really depressed and stop eating or you get really depressed and eat a lot. Uh, 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 I was a, when I was a hardcore gamer, when I had the time to be nothing but a hardcore gamer, my weight was significantly lower. Because I would play so much, I wouldn't get up and eat food. I've, I've, I have had days where, and it's been a long time since I had one of those. I've had days where I would wake up, have a bowl of cereal, sit down and start playing games, and then not eat until 9 o'clock that night. Like have water throughout the day or juice or something, and then not eat until very late in the day. None uses stevia, so no sugar. It tastes pretty good. Uh, they do have a slight fizz to them, but uh, I like the fizz. Uh, the fizz makes it feel like you're drinking something else. I lost my love of food as well for, for everything. Ah, I just feel useless and now I was depressed and barely ate. Yeah, see, Rye, it, it sucks because that's a great weight loss thing, but it's not good to feel that way at the same time. I can also confirm the illness makes you lose weight. Lost 60 pounds in one month. Yeah, I, I always joke... And I don't want it to happen, but I've always joked that why can't I get like a stomach virus or something that lasts forever so then I, I just don't eat. I've had periods in my life like that, but I've never been under 200 as a grown. Yeah, I've never been under 200 as a grown adult. Uh, the lowest when I was actually at my most working out and taking care of myself, I got down to 230 was the best I ever did. I, I'm afraid to step on a scale now. I know that I'm well over 320. Yeah, being sick is not a good way to lose weight. <laughs> but <laughs> unfortunately, it's those jokes where, you know, you never see heavy set cocaine addicts. It's like, maybe cocaine's a great way to lose weight. I don't know. Don't do cocaine, please. Uh, for the love of God, that was that was kind of a half joke. I'd love to be 230. I think I'm at 230. Yeah, Rooster, I, I'm... I'm almost 100% sure I'm past, like, 325 right now.
Yeah. It's all in my gut. It's all in my gut. I, I've never been the guy with... I've seen heavy set cocaine addicts. Yeah, I, sugar, sugar is my white powdery drug of choice, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, but my weight's all in my gut. I don't have the flabby arms. I don't have flabby legs. I always had really strong legs. Uh, my upper thighs are getting a little chunky, uh, as, as the inside of my pants will tell you. But it's all, like, from, from the bottom of my boobs to, the, to my belt line is, is where all my extra weight is. I haven't lost much weight with this round of chemo. Instead, I'm losing my hair up. Oh, squeak. I, I'm I'm happy that the chemo, I hope the chemo is working. I'm sorry that you're losing your hair, but it's wig time. It's time, it's time. I, I, and I don't mean that, I, I, I'm dead serious. Like if you, if, if you have something like that, you could sit there and look and think, oh my God, this is so horrible. Or you can have some fun with it. Yeah, that's exactly how I'm built. I look like a meth dealer now. <laughs> Squeak, do you look like a meth dealer or a meth user? There you go. There's your distinction. I got the beer gut. Yeah, it's time for Squeak to become an anime. Only the fanciest of wigs. Yeah, I've been meaning to get a cute cosplay wig. Yeah, why not go for some cosplay wigs? Get some great characters going. This is your, this is your opportunity to be the main character. You know, we always they always do the spot the main character joke, and it's always the person with the bright colorful hair. This is your chance. All right, let me save again just because I don't know. <laughs> Those tend to be the same thing. <laughs> All right. So what do we? What is it? Four thirty. Let's. Should we even keep going? Because uh, we got like a half an hour left, and I don't want to—I don't want to get into it since we just got to a save point. Um, hang on, let me see if there's something else we can pop in for the last half hour. Hang on, uh, give me give me like two minutes, and I'll get up and and uh, take a look to see if there's anything else we can pop in. Because I don't want to get going on this, and then we're we're done in half an hour. Um, I'm gonna keep streaming. I, I just want to see if there's another game to pop in for a little bit. Rooster just subscribed with the tier one sub. Thank you for the subscription, Rooster. Still, still amazed that people pay for this. Thank you so much. In the hunt with a sub. Uh, Squeak, just do ill bleed cop. Do ill bleed cosplay. There you go. Here, hold on. Uh, give me, give me one second, and I'm gonna take a look. See if there's something else to go on. Okay, so here's the thing. I don't actually have a lot of US Dreamcast games. <laughs> most, of the, 
the bulk of my Dreamcast games are Japanese. So, um, we're just going to keep going. <laughs> this is the only mod right here. I, chew, uh, I promise to cause as much chaos as possible until Greg... Well, Greg's back. The Zelda sword badge with the... Oh, oh, uh, well, so what is that? Did Johnny ever L play Ill Bleed? No, they did not play Ill Bleed. Um, Suave is streaming right now. He is back. I'm back. All right, so let's let's just let's just see how far we can get, and then uh, when we start the next time we play, which will be Thursday, uh, we'll see what happens. Yeah, I'm back. Right. I think that's the only thing that's visible. That is visible. Uh, it's the same over here. Strong gun. Yeah, I know that you guys are going to get hit. I, I hope you guys stay safe, man. Cool. Uh, do you have a place where you upload gameplay live streams like this one? Generally, no. I I'm never really sure how people feel about um, uploading the long videos like this. Uh... First person mode is the horror. Yeah, yeah, that's the horror monitor. Because you're looking through the goggles. Um, I don't know. Do you guys, like, I guess I could upload this. See, I never upload things like the Link to the Past randomizers and stuff because they're, they're kind of bit by bit. You know what I mean? Like, I'll start one in one playthrough, and then in the next playthrough, I'll finish it and then start another one. Like, it's always kind of weird. Uh... Maybe I should upload these to YouTube. Normally, I don't. Normally, I just leave them here. And then for the, you know, because you have a couple weeks or, or you think, I think a week to watch them on Twitch before they disappear. I don't know. Maybe I should upload them to YouTube. Yeah, we got goggles. We got goggles. The goggles do something. You notice what's happening over here, by the way? Watch what's happening. I can watch them because I can't catch the stream. That's why the streams are always Thank here on watch. Twitch. Confirming defrost. Turbo in full gear. Number 106 entering skinning stage. That said skinning stage. Reruns are going to be a thing soon, though. Okay. 106 has been skinned. And the lumberjack dude was there. It's like how Johnny uploads it. Yeah, I just, I wasn't really sure if people would bother watching a, a long stream like this. I think maybe I will. I think for these, for the ill bleed at least, I should do that. Oh, just I gotta download them. <laughs> no, I gotta download them all. It takes forever for me to download them. All right, all right, all right. Truth be told, I haven't even uploaded uh, last silver lining. That's all kinds of messed up. Oh, I got a piece of wood. All right. That guy's going to jump up and attack me, and I know it. But I'm going to act like it's not going to happen. That was generic horror movie noise. Oh, my God. Yeah, come on. I, I I hope I'm supposed to be doing this. What? what kind of crazy lunging attack was that? Stuff, but let's use it as a background for work. Oh, thank you. 
I love I love knowing that people prefer me in the background. <laughs> Just getting mauled with an axe and spraying neon blood everywhere. That's fine. And the bleeding on the ground from her is this. I can't I can't get past it. I can't get past the fact that it's there. It's just so gross. <laughs> I'm a little close to the mic when I do that. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just bad. I'm, I'm waiting for the bleeding to stop. There we go. Okay. I think I go back now. Right? Or do I? Was well, I supposed to go forward? Oh, I was supposed to go forward. I'm gonna go back and save though. Beep, beep, beep. And the ER is up here, so I can I can actually go and get an operation done. Actually, I'm kind of curious to see what the operations cost. Uh, here we go. What's it going to cost to fix your health? Uh, heart rate. Health. Oh, that's not bad. Oh, uh, uh, adjustment. That's not bad. So we perform the operations. It's a very unsettling healing process. Still though. What? <laughs> what? What was that medical instrument you just said? Uh, scalpel. Just seems weird. Like, how do you, how do we how do we help heal her wounds? Cut her more. All right. So now we can save. What if no one in this game is human? Well, I most of them are not even the mannequins. Um, most of them are are robots and stuff, but there are some humans that you come across. Medical bill simulator. I can't help but wonder if she's even human with that much blood. All right, so that's. Why don't we wrap? Why don't we wrap it up here? Uh oh 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 oh. Uh, before I go. Uh, here we'll turn that down a little bit. Before I go, well, we got Sage, of course. We got to bring Sage up here to give him his treats. Um. When all right, so we save. So let's let's open that up. Uh, I love the screen, so we'll just we'll leave it right there. Uh, before before we feed Sage, uh, I picked up two things at the Goodwill store today. Uh, I picked up the metal box edition of Final Fantasy XII. They were three bucks a piece too. Uh, metal box edition of Final Fantasy XII. Uh, the discs are in perfect shape. It comes with both of them. Uh, the book is super clean. Controller dance. And because I mentioned this, I mentioned this game earlier because I got this. Uh, unfortunately, it's the second one. I do wish it was the first one, but now I want, I am more invested in trying to find the first one. Shadow Hearts from the New World, uh, which I have never played. So I don't know what this one is, if this is like the first one or not. Uh, I played the first one. The first one was actually pretty good. Uh, I actually have Final Fantasy XII, but I have the plain box version. So now I have the metal box version. Uh, and then I don't own I don't own either of the Shadow Hearts games. So now I own the second one. So now I want to get the first one. <laughs> cool. <laughs> yeah, it, it's been kind of slow for, for Goodwill as of late. But I saw these. I was like, okay, let me grab these. These are pretty good. All right. So with that out of the way, playing the end of the stream. Oh, so now we can get the boy up here. Hold on a second here. Let's switch to the camera. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There we go. Hey. 
Here we go. Get him up here. Give him his treats. He loves his treats. Just hangs out. Yeah, he just he sits right outside the room now. He knows. <laughs> Buddy, don't meow with food in your mouth. Chomping down on my hand there. Give you a few more. Get the good boy. Uh, speaking of Final Fantasy, I recently learned that there is a trading card game, and now, yeah, yeah, uh, it's been around for uh, a couple of years, I think. I don't know how it's structured, and I don't know anybody that plays it, so I wouldn't go into them. Uh, what webcam do you use? I am using a Logitech C920. Uh, there is the 922, which allows for, because I, I don't think this one allows for 60 frames per second uh, for streaming, but uh, I don't worry about that because my computer can't handle that, I think. Uh, I think we've already seen that my uh, OBS has been having some problems, so the last thing I want to do is put any more strain on it than usual. Uh, but yeah, it's the uh, C920. I think it does really well. Uh, I think it does 60 frames per second for recording, but not for streaming. Uh, what game did I miss? Hey, Lizard. Uh, we finished up. Well, we didn't finish. We just were done for the day. Ill Bleed for the Dreamcast is what we've been playing. And we are playing, as you can see, on actual hardware. Um, I was going to switch over to something else just to round out the stream, but I don't have a whole lot of uh, U.S. Dreamcast games. Uh, most of my games are uh, Japanese um, which is a shame because I got a ton of fighting games for Japanese. Uh, I'm watching the stream on my TV, and right now you're super big on the screen. And uh, <laughs> looked up and got freaked out by how big your head. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I put in the big head code. This is uh, NBA Jam uh, big head code. And I think I think Gold and I had that too. Cat demands attention, Mambo. Uh, okay, so that's gonna do it for today. Uh, thank you guys so much for stopping in and for hanging out, uh, for putting up with my ill bleedy uh, craziness. Uh, it's as you can see, it's a very delightful game, and I do think I am going to continue playing it through. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to play through to the actual ending because that requires me to play through the whole game again. Uh, I we we have off tomorrow. We don't normally stream on Wednesdays. If I do stream, um. I don't think I'll stream this. I'll stream something else just because I don't. I don't want anybody to schedule. You know, I, like I don't. I don't know how much you guys set your schedules to this, but <laughs> I don't want anybody to to plan to miss it and then come back Thursday and then we we did a whole chunk of game that was missed. Um, although I do think I am going to upload at least these ill bleed streams to YouTube just so you guys can check it out. Uh, if you check the links down below, if you, if you are not subscribed to YouTube, uh, please go ahead and do that. And then that's where you'll see, I upload, uh, silver linings there. Uh, I I've started uploading those in parts so that they're a little bit easier to watch rather than just watch an hour, two hour stream. Uh, so yeah, please check that out if you haven't done that already. But I think I'm gonna am up. I think I am going to upload these streams to YouTube, and then I may start uploading some more stuff to YouTube because all, right now all I upload is silver lining. Uh, so thank you guys so much for stopping in. Please do upload it. Uh, oh no problem, Steven. See, thank you, thank you, thank you for uh, requesting the opportunity to rewatch them to all of you. Uh, well, to those of you who have done it. Uh, all right. So, all right. So let's let's send the stream over to somebody else. Uh, if you're watch, if you are watching this on YouTube, then have a great day. Uh, have a great night. Uh, if you are sticking around because you're here live, let's see if we can find someone else to raid. 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 Uh, Suave is streaming. Suave. Pause that. Um. Suave O X I I I. Uh, all right, so Suave is streaming, so I'm gonna send you guys over to Suave. I 
I, I. All right. Uh, so thank you very much. Have a great day, and I will see you guys later. Dun 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 d